Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Alone in the Dark, Emily's story, as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. And last time we made it here to the swamps. So let's get into it. Ah, yes. So we have this desk here, I think. What have we got here? Oil rig report. May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hartwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. Hartwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. The bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. Oh this is the devil that guides us now. Good grief. All right. Well, there hmm. you have that. Good lord. Well, what's in here? Nothing. Wait, what? There was something. Was there? Ah, yes, there was. More bullets. Oof. Some flies back. Nothing. Oh. Okay. I need the key. Hmm. Okay. Well, head back out. Let's see if there's anything else out here. Could we get in this place? Okay, well... That's gonna be locked as well. Oh. Oh, it's very dark. Aha! Load it up. Jetty key. Perfect. Marvellous. Brilliant. Okay. Mm. Nothing of much use to us. Can we go out this way? Ah. We can indeed go out this way. I don't think there was anything else through here. Something missing. Ugh. All right. Well. Oh, the fly is horrible noise. Oh. Not nice. Not nice at all. Still to this day, don't know what those things are. No idea. I'll keep my pickaxe, thank you. Ooh, that's, that's, that's a bit messy. 
it was. Okay, I think that means we can hop down, but let's not, not hop down for now. Okay. What's this? Bridge lever. Okay. Ah, here we go. That's a very strange noise. Not really sure how I feel about that. <clears throat> oh. oh, I remember these things. Oh god! Jeez! Well, that wasn't exactly fun, but never mind. Oh. It worked. Oh, God. Scared the life out of me. <laughs> that literally did make me jump. Good grief. Anything else here? No. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh. to the house there. Alright. Well. <clears throat> that went well. Ugh. A boat or... What's this? More bullets? Marvellous. Ugh. Yes, bullets, more bullets. A shovel. Okay. Is the shovel better than the pickaxe? Or the pickaxe? Well, perhaps the pickaxe might be a little slower. Nothing. Well. Doesn't really help our case, but... Bullets. A little more health. Anything else? No. Oh, good grief. Okay. Here we go. Let's let's stay off the dirt ground, shall we, for now? While we while we can. Oh. More bullets. Oof. I don't like this. Nope. Not one bit. Anything on the table? No. Alright. Well. Oh, alright. Well. I can break the Well, so much for that. Good God. Take a quick drink. Oh, good God, you'd need it after all that, wouldn't you? Bloody hell. This is a mad place. Full of mad things. Busting in. Or 
one of them things. Oh yeah. Yep. Good God. Oh, the noise is... Ugh. Sounds... I don't know. Sickening. Gross. Okay. Mm. Anyone in? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Bullets. Perfect. Okay. More bullets. Anything else? Oh yeah, it's just um, stuck in the wall. Oh, oh! Why are the flies everywhere? Oh! I mean, it's nice music. Very nice, but um, yeah, doesn't um, really help us much, does it? Um, a death trap. Okay. Damn it, there has to be a way to get to the other side. Really? We're full? God bless it. Well... Come on then, show your ugly mug. Well, that was weird. All right, good God. Um. Okay. 
these like Good God, all right. Well, okay. Oh, yes, I remember this. And hold on tight. Oh, ouch. Well, yeah, okay, bit of chaos, but do you know, it's just turn off the light actually. Just be. Um, this is a weird place. It was weird when we visited it with Eddie. Okay, remember that? That's creepy and fro oh, okay, hello. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Yep. It was freaky the first time I saw it, and it's freaky the second time I've seen it. Oh, that's a body. That is an actual body. Okay, fair enough. Let's just go. There's another one there. Just, just, just go. Just, yep. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't. It's the hateful don't hang mouth about. Jeremy mentioned in his book. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is. Jeremy, <laughs> you dropped your... <gasps> Mrs. Marcus? Get off of me! What are you doing here? Trying to find my uncle. Jeremy is your uncle? Could you please? Mrs. Marcus. Thank you. And it's Miss Hartwood. You don't remember me? I remember you, Mr. Bois. I met your brother, Batiste, earlier. I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. We spread out to find him. Can I have this? I'm trying to get to Tarawea. Fine. Believe the rest. I just want Jeremy to come looking. We have to leave before it comes inside. What? Where? Come quick. 
Pallet knife. Definitely be uh, useful. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts by Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid, in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Hmm. Yes, then we have this on the other side. Hmm. Well, okay. Sitting room key, very useful. Right, so we can get into the sitting room now, or we should be able to anyway. We have these two items, very useful, very useful. That goes back outside of the garden. Couldn't we? It's wet shut. I remember. It worked. It certainly did. <sighs> Barrow Barlow lens instructions. Excuse me. The Barlow lens instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Brilliant. Okay, another key. The cellar key. Oh yes, the cellar. Radio keeps going in and out. That's kind of weird. Anything in here? Ooh. Okay. Very... I don't have everything I need. Okay. All right. Well, I think we need to head to the sitting room by all accounts. And, um... Make our plan from there. Let's go. Come on, Grace. I'm too tired for games. I'll even let's play with my jackknife. Oh, good evening. <laughs> you haven't seen a little girl by any chance, have you? I don't think so. Uh, you would have known if you did. The only kid crazy enough to be in this place. She's not in her room, then? <laughs> that would be a first. Always running around causing trouble. She's very hard to pin down, that one. You want a sip? No. I'm good, thank you. Well, I should be going, then. <clears throat> Unless there's anything you need from me. I just want to find my uncle before anything happens to him. Oh, don't worry, miss. He'll show up. <laughs> He is much too lily-livered to kill himself. Jeez. Why would he? <laughs> it's his greatest ambition, didn't you know? Take care now. Good God! <sighs> oh, 
That was subtle as a brick to the face. Good God. Oh. Hmm, there's something missing. Need a key. Anything else here before I go into any of the rooms? Oh! The, ooh! Cockroaches. <laughs> Stinky butts. Gross. Oh, mind you, that tub's seen better days. Does nobody clean in this place? Is it like a... Is it a thing? Oh, God. Is it a thing to just not clean the house? I thought there was supposed to be a housekeeper. Aren't housekeepers supposed to clean? Okay. This must be the great Cassandra Beauregard's room. Uh -huh. I'm not sure what I expected. Maybe something more extravagant. Another one of those peculiar padlocks. Mm -hmm. What have we got here? Your medicine. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. We haven't seen Mr. Waits. Margrave Liniment. Hmm. One of several medicines prescribed to the author Cassandra Beauregard. This particular bottle contains an ointment for pain relief sold as the fourth version of the company's popular recipe. Hmm. Interesting. Now, if I remember correctly, it goes over here, but we are missing one. There's more of that aggressive rot on the bottles. Mm. I wonder what that means. I'm not sure I have everything I need. No, probably not. If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something out of the strange markings. So what's in Miss Gracie's room? So this is Grace's room. Cute. It's just strange that there are two beds, but only one kid. A small request. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Okay. That was a very small request. Oh boy. Ta da! Good lord. Anything else over here? Creepy dolls. Strange drawings. My god. Okay. <sighs> well. Let's take a peep. The medicine bottles had stains of rot on the labels, suggesting some greater shape. They just needed to be put in the right order. But for what purpose? Right, I think we can head down to the cellar and then um, get a valve to turn off the boiler. I think that should be our next port of call. And then from there, who knows? Should be able to get in now. Uh, cellar key, there we go. And we are in. Really? Nothing? Nothing here? Oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Oof. A switch. Okay. Hmm. Oh yes, I remember. Um. I guess this works too. Yeah. Is there anything else over here before we continue onwards? No. I haven't found any extra lanyaps, which is quite concerning for me but maybe I don't know okay can we can we take the broom or something maybe something Good God. Wait, what's this? 
Give me that shovel. Oh, oh bloody... Oh, God. Pickaxe was going to break anyway. Good grief. All right. Well... There we go. Turn off the steam. Oh. a dead body in here. Did I just imagine that? Trypophobia nightmare. Oh god. Broken plate, yes. Anything else? Oh. Good god. This whole place. It's just a shambles. Oh, another shovel. Okay, well, at least it's, you know, warm in here. Dry, kind of. All right. Oh, wait. There was this plate. What's that wasn't there? stain? Looks like some kind of rot. Ah, we're still missing another piece, though. Hmm. Okay, so I need to find another piece of plate. Hmm. I wonder if we can we get in here yet? Oh, God bless it. I wonder if maybe we could get into the the. The bottles with a pallet knife, maybe? I suppose. Oh, this was the bathroom. Whoops. Wrong room. Here we go. No? Hmm. That's very irritating. It's wet shut. It worked. Yep. Surely did. Here we go. Ooh. I think no. Aha. Oh. Well, that's 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 fine. Quit on this. Ah, yes. I remember this room. My goodness. Very fancy room. Or was once very fancy. Is now a wreck. Falling to bits. Or fallen to bits. Okay. What's around the other? Can we open this? Yep. We'll just take a peep around the other side. See if there's anything else to be had. Oh, bullets. Lovely. Any other things to open? Oh, hello. Okay. Maps. All right. Very strange, very mysterious, very bizarre. Gracie! There she is.
Duh. Do you teach piano as well? Huh? You're a governess. Did you teach those clawing Casano kids how to play the piano? How do you know about that? Just because grown-ups don't notice children doesn't mean we don't notice you. Yes. I taught them some piano. Are you any good at it? Not good enough to play a broken one. It fell from the attic. Brought half the ceiling down. It was Jeremy's fault, wasn't it? Nobody knows what happened. But you're not wrong. Hmm. doing <laughs> I'm gonna go now see you around what the hell what a weird little kid she is Gracie honestly what's this Medicine box key, cool. What the hell did she stab us with, though? Oh my god. Yeah. <sighs> there is more of that unsettling rot. Mm. Fire poker? What's this? On the common place of evil? What's On this? the common place of evil. There lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, Follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. Hmm. Yes, indeed. All right. Well. Let's um, yeah, unlock this. Let's mosey on out of here. And um, get this medicine box open, actually. That's what we can do while we're here. <sighs> Dr. Jenkins' lozenges. One of several medicines prescribed to the author, Cassandra Beauregard. This particular bottle contains tablets said to relieve sore throats and contain two vital vitamins. Awesome. All Ooh, right. What's this? Well, we can we can head up to her room now and um yes. Make uh make sense of the bottles. Uh here we go. Um yes. Bottles. There they are. All right, let's take a little peep here. So Do we maybe need to pop them? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, so that, I think. Then that, then what's, what's this one got on it? Maybe swap those two around? There we go. The rot made the shape of a snake. Is it telling me something? Maybe it has to do with the numbers on the bottles. Two, five, seven. Would you suppose? Two, five, seven? And this was one of these, ah, yes, one of these combination things again. Okay, so two, five, seven. Two, five, seven. So Pisces, 
Gemini, Pisces, Gemini, Leo. Pisces, Gemini, Leo. Okay, so Pisces, uh, Gemini, and Leo. Where is Leo? There he is. Aha, we're in. And there's the piece. Marvelous. It's another piece of broken plate. Certainly is. It certainly is. And we are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time, we will uh, go back down to the basement, fix up this plate in the boiler area, and, um, yes, see what comes next. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>